Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I'm at Sony CES stand after the R press conference and I know I'm shooting against a wall here but the reason I'm doing that you will soon find out. So I've just witnessed a demo behind this wall in this room, Sony's prototype 8K HDR that is capable of 10,000 nits and it is actually 85 inch in screen size and the reason why I can't actually shoot this video inside is that it's so bright that if I actually wanted to use this camera which is SDR or standard dynamic range then it would either just blow out the image or it would just mix my face invisible so I had to actually do the filming out here but what I witnessed in there is extremely impressive so as you probably know by now I am a big fan of high peak brightness LED LCD and Sony has truly taken it to the next level on that front the prototype display is 85 inch and it has 8K resolution and interestingly beside the 85 inch prototype Sony has set up the 75 inch ZD9 which is actually no slouch in itself according to my measurements it was actually capable of 1800 nits of peak brightness but when you put it beside this 10,000 nit monster then everything just pales in comparison. This 10,000 nits is just so powerful, it's just so realistic. All these reflections, all these sparkles, they just bristle with such intensity and fury that, you know, the moment I walk into the room, I just said, wow, I mean, there's just no other way to put it. And the beauty about a 10,000 nit display is that you don't need to tone map because the ST2084 PQ or perceptual quantization standard specifies a luminance range which is in absolute luminance by the way from zero nits all the way up to 10,000 nits and so if you have a 10,000 nit display no tone mapping is needed it is perfect obviously I tried to ask Sony about the number of local dimming zones and they as usual wouldn't be drawn on a specific number but they did say that the number of zones I counted in the 100 inch ZD9 was wrong anyway and I'll soon hopefully be able to find out the exact reason but this 85 inch 8K HDR 10,000 nit prototype is an iteration of the 100 inch ZD9 they tell me and one big improvement is actually, besides the peak brightness of course, is actually the X1 Ultimate processor that they've actually put in to this prototype. Now the X1 Ultimate processor will have twice the horsepower of the X1 Extreme processor or chipset, which is the current highest end chipset that Sony is using on its flagship televisions, such as the upcoming Sony AF8 OLED and also the XF90 LED LCD. So from that point of view, Sony is looking towards the future. So they wanted to make a processor that is capable of handling higher resolution, handling higher dynamic range. And they have come up with this X1 Ultimate processor, which has twice the horsepower. And therefore, from what Sony is telling me, it is actually capable of doing even more object-based HDR remaster compared with just a larger cluster that the X1 Extreme was actually performing. So all in all, a supremely impressive display and people keep banging on and on about right, you don't need 1000 nits, especially OLED owners, you don't need 1000 nits, you don't need 4000 nits, you don't need 10,000 nits. But once you see these side-by-side -side comparisons, I mean as much as I'm a big fan of OLED, I'm also a big fan of peak brightness for HDR impact, for HDR immersion as well. And I can't deny that I fell in love with this 85 inch Sony 8K HDR prototype that is capable of 10,000 nits. And the 10,000 nits of luminance is also beneficial to the color volume as well. In the side-by-side -side comparisons of this prototype display versus the 75 inch ZD9, all the colors just look more realistic. It just bristles with intensity and vibrance. It's, I, you have to be here to see it. And unfortunately, my camera, being an SDR camera, just doesn't have enough dynamic range to actually show you what I actually mean. But I hope you can take my word that this is a seriously impressive display and I hope that it trickles down to the hands of the consumers sometime in the very near future. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the HGTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.